Distributed tracing is a monitoring technique that is offered by Sentry, which allows you as a developer to link the operations and the requests occurring between multiple of your services together. This means that you're able to trace the path of an end-to-end -end request as that request moves from one service to another. Let's say, for example, you have a front-end service in the form of a browser application and you have a back-end service. Essentially, what distributed tracing allows you to do is to be able to trace the request as a client interacts with your front end and then the front end sends a request back to your back end. And this really enables you to pinpoint errors and performance bottlenecks in any of your individual services that are negatively affecting your overall system. Now, in our conversations about distributed tracing, we are really concerned with two fundamental components here, a spam and a trace. So a span describes an operation or work taking place on a service. Spans can describe broad operations. For example, the operation of a web server responding to an HTTP request, or it could also be as granular as the single invocation of a function. A trace, on the other hand, describes the end-to-end -end journey of one or more connected spans. A trace is considered to be a distributed trace if it connects spans performed on multiple of your services. You're probably wondering by now, so why is this distributed tracing so useful? And that is a great, great question. At the root of every performance issue, there is most often a single event that creates a domino effect of excruciatingly slow load times. Let's take a look at an example of a transaction with several dependencies. As you can see here, each span can create a domino effect on subsequent events or spans, thereby impacting the entire event. So with distributed tracing, we give you all the context to see what actually matters and help you solve what's urgent fast. And sure, some performance issues actually do need a bit more investigation than that. And for that, we have a way to drill down into the details of every single transaction. Let's go through a quick demo on how to do this. So if I wanted to investigate why a specific transaction is slow, I would probably start off here at the performance tab, uh, performance page I mean, and um, for the sake of this example, let's say I wanna investigate front-end transactions. So let's go, let's take a look here and take a look at our transactions. Let's maybe take a look at this specific checkout transaction. Let's investigate why this specific checkout transaction is slow. We take a look at one of the events. Let's say we go for this particular event and we see there are two spans here. So if I wanted to dig down deeper or, or drill down into why this is happening or why these spans are slow, I would probably click here to view the details of each span and try to figure out what's going on here. But it seems that this span is quite slow, which is the Spring Boot.Sales Engineering. Now, optionally, I can choose to view the trace of that particular span so I can see the life cycle of that particular operation. 